What's up, Calc gang? Today we're going to be finding the equation of a sphere with a radius 2, negative 6, 4, and a radius of 5. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, let's first, this problem requires a little bit of memorization. You need to know what the equation of a sphere is. So for a sphere, it's going to be x minus a number squared plus y plus, an, or, you know, plus a constant squared plus z plus some other constant squared, and that's going to be equal to the radius squared. So this is how you find an equation of a sphere. So let's plug it in for what we got here. So x, and so x is at 2, but if you want it to be at positive 2, you need to do negative 2. So x minus 2 squared plus y. Why is it negative 6? That means it's going to be plus 6. Plus 6 squared plus z, and then of course it's going to be minus 4 squared, and equal to radius of 5, so 5 squared is 25. So this is our equation. Now, the next part of this question is it wants us to describe its intercepts with the other coordinate planes. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's draw it out. So this is x, this is y, this is z. So you don't actually need to draw it out to describe its intercepts with the other coordinate planes, but I'm going to do it. So it's going to be at like 2, which is like here, negative 6, which is like back here, and 4. So it's going to be like here with like a radius of 5. It's going to look something like this. That's really ugly. But you know what I mean. So how do we find its intercepts? Well, let's imagine for a second that it's on the x to z coordinate plane. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that y is equal to 0, right? Because anything on this plane, the x to z plane, the y is going to be equal to 0. So we can actually just plug in y is equal to 0 into our equation and get something out of this. So x minus 2 squared. This is y is equal to 0. Therefore, x squared plus z minus 4 squared <laughs> plus y pi 0, so it's going to be 6 squared plus 36 is equal to 25. Now, if we smooth this over to the other side, we're going to get equal to negative 11, right? But if you notice, when you square something, it has to be positive, right? So this has to be positive, and this has to be positive, but it's going to equal a negative number when they're added together. Well, that tells us that it's not possible. And actually, what you can tell is that it does not intercept the xz plane. And you can actually tell that, obviously, because the y is uh, negative 6, and um, it's at radius 5. So of course it's not going to intercept the uh, xz plane. So that's what we can tell. Does not intercept the x z plane. But we can do this for the other things too. How about the x z plane? Or the <laughs> the xy plane? So let's see, xy. This means that anywhere on the xy plane, z is going to be equal to 0. So z is equal to 0. Therefore, we have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 6 squared. Um, plus 16 is equal to 25. Move this over to the other side, and you'll get is equal to 9. And this is another equation. This is the equation of a circle on the axis. So let's try this out. On the, let's imagine we are on the xy plane. So x is going to be a 2. So over here, 2. And y is going to be up here at 6. And it's going to have a radius of 9 or actually a radius of the square root of 9, which is going to be 3. So it's going to look like that. So what we can tell about this is that it's going to be, um, x is going to be 2, is the center of the circle. y is going to be negative 6, is also the center of the circle. So our center is at um, 2, negative 6. Wait, hold on. I did this wrong. y is negative 6. It's going to be like down here. And the radius is going to be 5. So it's going to be... 2, negative 6, radius is equal to 3. That's 3. All right, so this is what it looks like in the xy plane. Now we can also find what it looks like in the yz plane. So if it's in the yz plane, that means that x is always equal to 0, right? You can imagine looking at that. x is always equal to 0. So if we plug that into our equation, we'll get 4 plus y plus 6 squared 
plus z minus 4 squared is equal to 25. Move that over, subtract, it's equal to 21. That means that it's going to have a radius of square root of 21. And we know that y is going to be a negative 6 and z is going to be equal to 4. We can draw this. This is y. This is z. So y is going to be like negative 6 over here. Y is going to be, z is going to be equal to 4. That's going to have a radius square root of 21, which is at like 4.5-ish probably. So that means it's going to kind of like go like this probably. And you look at that and it's, yeah, probably about right. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem, guys. Uh, good luck on your calculus homework.